my channel, Mary Born ND, Gardening with Granny. And this is the last day of daily savings time, so it's fall. So we say fall back and spring forward. So tonight we turn the clocks back. So I thought I would give you a tour of what's been going on. We've been having some absolutely fabulous weather uh, here in Michigan. It's been cold at night, close to frost, and some nights we have gotten frost, but it hasn't deterred the leaves any. They are doing beautiful still. There are some that have fallen, but uh, still enough to enjoy. So let me take you around the gardens and show you what's going on. My neighbor is cutting his grass, so I'm hoping you can hear me okay. I have my mic on. Uh, as you can see, I have this green stalk covered, and that's because it has lettuce in it. And generally when I do this, I can get lettuce um, into November. So hold on for a minute, and I'll take the cover off. So there is our beautiful lettuce, almost ready for a, a little bit of a salad. My other two green stalks I have not covered. You can see the strawberries have taken on their fall colors and they look very pretty. And they'll come back next year. I'm going to cut back this oregano and the sage I've been using, but uh, and it will come back also. So I should cut that back and dehydrate it. I've got a little bit of dill growing in here. And I've got a bigger, this has been longer growing. So pretty. And the bees have been enjoying that. Marigolds are looking a little worse for wear here. But they sure have been enjoyed by the bees. This green stalk is well past its time to clear up. I've got some thyme growing in here that I should harvest. Strawberries still trying to come on. Parsley. There's some basil over here. And a little bit of kale. Let's head down the uh, spiral staircase and I'll show you a garden I don't normally show you. All the boats are in for the winter, except that one. I don't know if that ever comes in. <laughs> That's my neighbors. So this garden has Forsythia, which you can see has gone gangbusters. There's some really pretty colors in this. Vibrant yellows and oranges. Pretty breezy down here by the lake. And these rose bushes need to be cut down. They don't do much. But I thought you'd enjoy seeing the nasturtium looking so wild and beautiful here in October. Another rose bush that needs trimming. And our firewood is all stacked, ready for multiple fires. We'll head up the ramp. This is the side of the house. You probably have seen the green giant or emerald whatever. <laughs> we 
my neighbors and I put this in, I want to say, probably 30 years ago. And they create a nice privacy screen. You hardly see uh, that there is a home there. And you can see that our milkweed has gone to seed. It was a nice home for a lot of butterflies. Coming up the ramp, this is our apple tree. It did pretty good this year. We got to make a couple of desserts from it, but we don't spray and so there's a lot of apples that are not usable. And we can enjoy the view from my neighbor's tree there. And you can see my porch is decorated for Halloween or fall. <laughs> this ghost lights up. And this is the view you usually see. However, the caladiums, I'm doing a special on them trying to propagate them. And there's the ferns, the brunera, hookera. Time for this one to sleep. It'll be back in the spring, I'm sure. There's a begonia hanging in there. They don't mind too much of the cold and snapdragons. They've been enjoyable. Coleus are gone. Cold snap hit them. One of the main features in fall is this Lacy Maple Duo, so beautiful, so many colors. In the spring is when I trim it. But I can see that there are some branches that will need trimming. But I sure enjoy this most of the seasons. In winter, it's just kind of a bare bush, but it does still add some interest. Just beautiful. I love it when the sun shines on it. Unfortunately, my health didn't allow me to keep this area as neat as it should be. The deep purple salvia, it, such a treat. It lasts so long. And the begonias. These canna lilies did really good. Yeah, even though it was neglected, it did really well. We'll see those iris again next spring. We'll head over here where the pastas and they're in their fall color, looking so pretty. And my mums back there, they're a treat. Head over to the herb garden. Juniper looking so pretty, full of berries. And garlic chives. 
really a nice hedge with the myrtle. Some people think myrtle invasive, but sometimes it's a good idea. Comfrey is still wild as ever. There's still some dahlias that are being gorgeous, horseradish. These make wonderful mulch. So I cut them back a little bit here and there. I have a whole bouquet of this beautiful dahlia. I'll come around so you can see that a little better. But I think it was a good idea putting those dahlias back there. The rosemary is still doing really good. I should harvest some of that. <laughs> Tomato is uh, hanging in there, but it's not going to produce anything. Let's take a closer look at that. Dahlia. Still kind of shadowy. There we go. Lots of comfrey. Butterfly bush. It's not in bloom anymore, but it's still providing some pretty interest. The peonies, we'll see them next year. And the hollyhock should bloom next year. This first <clears throat> season for it this year, and it grew, but it didn't bloom anything. Mandevilla, I'm going to move it in to the shed and see if I can winter it um, in the shed. We'll see what happens with that. So that's about it. Hope you've enjoyed this brief view of the garden in October. And I hope that you're enjoying your autumn. And thanks for viewing. And this is Mary for the help of it.